Welcome back. We're at Caledonia High School for our final Frenzy Tailgate of the Year, talking about Be Nice. It's an action plan. The NICE stands for Notice, Invite, Challenge, Empower. It's in more than 150 schools in West Michigan, including Caledonia, where it has been especially important. The district started the process about three years ago to bring it here at a time when the students needed it more than ever. Just prior to when I came to the district, the district had experienced some loss. Students in Caledonia lost several classmates to suicide a few years ago. And um, it was also just a time when they recognized that there were a lot of mental health needs with students and um, in the community and not necessarily a system in place um, district wide to support um, student mental health needs. The district responded by adding those services and implementing the Be Nice action plan. It was really important to let students know that there are people here that love you and want to support you in any way they can, um, especially with dealing like with loss. It's really, really tough and it's a really tough thing to, you know, cope with. Cami Asper is a senior this year and one of the leaders for the program. She says it has changed the way she handles difficult situations, like seeing a classmate upset her freshman year compared to now. When there is another girl crying and I asked her if she was okay and I just thought to myself like, man, I just would have never done that my freshman year. But senior year, I realized that I have the tools and it's okay for me to ask and I know that they need help and it's okay for me to reach out. Even though you were younger then, do you think if you'd had that information, you would have behaved differently? Definitely. If I would have known that, you know, how to handle it and how to have these tools to be able to reach out to them, I definitely think it would have had a different outcome. One of the goals of Be Nice is to normalize the help-seeking process. When I came here, I did really notice that some students just really felt like it was, um, they really had to put themselves out there if they were not okay. And having that courage isn't always possible when you're in a dark place. Be Nice gives them a language to talk about what's going on in a way that's very non-confrontational, but also um, really normalizes mental health concerns and that we all have mental health. Um, you know, we teach physical health and mental health is, is no different than that. Do you feel like you've saved lives with this program? Like you said, I think it's really hard to quantify that, but I do think that students have received help who wouldn't have received help otherwise. And so, yes, I do think that having this program and having the language that students can speak about these things with ease and on a regular basis um, has and will continue to save lives. 1,500 kids in the building with this program, that means 1,500 sets of eyes on students, giving them a lot of support for kids who, who might need it. And this year with so many students dealing with new stresses with the pandemic, that has been especially important.